plague. Rabies. Leprosy. Sexomnia. Scurvy. Yeah, call me crazy, but I'm sensing unresolved issues. Want to see a magic trick? Oh no, where'd it go, where'd it go? Is it here? No, about here. There it is. Oh, it doesn't look anything like a nose. That wasn't there this morning. CDC. Tell him what? That we have a patient with the plague. The black plague? Looks that way. Plague's carried by rodents, not dogs. Where there's dogs, there's fleas. And if they hail from the southwest, and those fleas can't tell the difference between prairie dogs and puppy dogs. A small percentage of plague cases present with sleep disturbance. Imagine an idyllic river of bacteria. It's not idyllic for her, but it serves my purposes. The steroids and the immunosuppressants acted like a big honking dam across the river. Physics 101 put a dam up in front of a raging river, the river rises. By stopping the immunosuppressants, we blew up the dam, and a hundred-foot wall of bacteria flooded her lymph nodes. We better find out where that dog is now. After you restart the immunosuppressants, and fill her up to the eyeballs with streptomycin, sulfate, gentamicin, and tetracycline. Use a garden hose if we got one. Get yourself some prophylactic treatments as well. I've got the plague. Don't worry, it's treatable. Being a bitch, though. Nothing we can do about that. So we, so we put should in a try... temporary pacer. It's shut not up, gonna... shut up. He's trying to talk. Something bothering you? There's still tightness in your chest. It's expected. Is it your eye? As he's saying no three times, you only ask one question. Maybe he's not saying no. Maybe he's saying down. Are you saying that the pain is lower? How low? Your leg? Your foot? Left foot? Check his, let me see now. Yeah, his right foot. No bruises, no rashes, no cuts. And there should be no pain. Is it a tingling sensation? Is it itching? Itchy foot means liver failure. The liver's fine. His enzyme have been normal since we admitted him. I didn't say failing, I said failure, just like you. Liver is like a cruise ship taking on water. As it starts to sink, it sends out an SOS. Only instead of radio waves, it uses enzymes. The more enzymes in the blood, the worse the liver is. Once the ship is sunk, there's no more SOS. You think the liver's fine, but it's already at the bottom of the sea. So dying liver released toxins, damaged the nerves, led to locked-in syndrome. Now we just need to know what's causing the liver failure. Liver plus eye plus kidney, most likely sclerosis and cholangitis. Oh, God, if only Talbot said that. Would have been a happy ending. Do a biopsy to confirm. The good news is the heart rate thing's not connected to her condition. Well, then she's dying because the meningitis treatment isn't helping her. She's getting worse. Well, that brings us to the bad news. The cop tasered her. A jerk. Probably couldn't get to his real gun fast enough. First time he hit her in the thigh. And she just kept going like it was nothing. Right about here. She didn't feel the taser. numbness? Yeah, in that one spot. The diabetes? I don't think so. Well, no alcohol, no 
not entrapment syndrome. Can't be a vitamin deficiency. We can't chase down every sensory neuropathy. Is that where she bit you? Yeah. What the hell? Can't get angry if you don't feel anything. First, there's localized numbness and sensitivity to light, disorientation, paranoia, ineffectiveness of sedatives, and then hydrophobia, fear of water. Rabies. There've only been, what, 10 cases in the last 20 years? Yeah. That's because non-homeless people, when they get bitten, they get shots. There were bats. She's dying. There's no treatment. How much time does she have? A day, maybe two. And if you don't get your shots in the next, say, three hours, I'm going to have to make another affirmative action to hire. If I were Jesus, curing this kid would be as easy as turning water into wine. Demonic possession? Close, but no wafer. Clue number two, rheumatology Roan was almost right. It causes autoimmune symptoms. Leprosy? Yeah, that's real big in the Jersey suburbs. It's leprosy. Run a fight stain, it'll be positive. Daddy hung out on the wrong kind of Indian ashram. But it's obviously dormant in the dad. How could the kid catch it? It's not dormant in the dad. It's just slow. It damaged his ulnar nerve, was misdiagnosed as carpal tunnel. Never trust doctors. Run a fight stain. No wonder he got anthrax. The leprosy weakened his immune system. Vicious circle. The leprosy made him vulnerable to the anthrax, and the anthrax treatment put the leprosy in overdrive. But the antibiotics we gave him, they cure leprosy. Yeah. That's where the trouble starts. The antibiotics hit the nerve strands. They kill the leprosy bacteria, and the corpses get tossed into the system. And as fascinating as our bodies are, they're also stupid. We produce antibodies to beat dead bacteria. And these aren't the polite antibodies. They're the ones that won't sit still, kick during nap times, they attack his neural and fat cells, causing inflammation and all the rest of his symptoms. So the cure's killing him. I want you to call down to Carville, Louisiana, home of the last leper colony in the lower 48. Get him to send up some thalidomide. Thalidomide? 12 year olds don't have sex, right? So we can't be pregnant. Make the call. These were your brain waves at 2.45 AM. Now here it comes. There's an abrupt jump from slow wave sleep. This indicates partial sleep arousal. Most common type is somnambulism, sleepwalking. That would explain why I'm so tired when I wake up. Yes, and also why you were pregnant. And the hickeys. And the carpet burn. I had sex in my sleep. Sexsomnia is a documented disorder. You said your ex lives downstairs. I'll kill him. OK. But he probably didn't know that you were asleep. Sexsomniacs can act pretty normal. I'm going to write you a prescription for a low-dose antidepressant. It'll let you sleep better. If you want to save yourself the $15 copay, you could have sex while you're awake. He's my ex. You I live don't... in the same building. You haven't had sex with anyone else for a year. You sleepwalk right into his arms. Call me crazy, but I'm sensing unresolved issues. House, you're not I'm not an idiot. Oh. House, leave her alone. Close her up. You want to know why? The room's no longer sterile. True. That's not the most interesting reason. That is not a sexy big toe. You never put that in your mouth. What the hell has that got to do? I told you it was interesting. It gets even better. Scurvy. Yeah. Drink. Like, like what sailors get when they don't eat right? Aye, aye. Your arms and leg tissues are choked with blood. It makes it hard to move. It also damages your hair and toenails. But I'm on this great diet. Lots of protein, lots Ooh, of... Oh, vitamin C. A drink. 
Yeah. Thank you. And thank Dr. House. Can you send him a note? Touch his eye. This is an appendectomy. Like I said, don't touch his eye. Why is he in surgery? Some emergency bumped him. We've got another room in ten minutes. You're not taking him in. Kill the lights. I'm seeing them all the time. What are you looking for? He's telling us what he was seeing. Telling us exactly what was wrong with him drawing them for us over and over again. But nobody knew how to speak autistic. When I asked him what he ate, he even told me that. What are you talking about? What was he seeing? Hello, my pretties. It's not a tumor, Foreman. It's worms swimming in his eye. Animal makes potty in the sandbox. Boy plays in the sandbox. Boy eats the sand. You can probably tell where this is going by now. Stool samples were negative for parasites. Raccoon roundworms are not excreted by their human host. Cameron tested the sand. All of it? Worms spread from his gut to the rest of his body. They attacked his lungs. That's what made him scream and caused the effusion. They invade his liver, sending dead liver cells coursing through his system. They attack his eye and the muscles surrounding it, making his eyeball do a backflip. Laser photocoagulation to fix the eye and a high dose of benzamidazole to kill the worms. Wait a minute. Uh, that's it? He's gonna be okay? Good news. He's gonna be with you for a long, long time. You still haven't figured out that I don't need sedation? So you don't move during the procedure. Is that nitrous? What, are you trying to kill her? Gave her nitrous during the EEG. That's what made this thing rear its ugly. What thing? B12 deficiency. Are you having deja vu? We've had this conversation. She was given B12. She didn't get better. Because someone else ate it. Get an abdominal MRI. What? What are you doing? Don't touch me! See? Don't touch me! There she goes. Don't touch me! Paranoid delusion. <laughs> Marie, she's going downhill. No. Forget the MRI. We need an OR. Leave me alone! Occupied. Her hernia can wait. Help! They're trying to kill me! Okay, you can either believe that we really are trying to kill her, or you can assume that she's suffering from a medical condition. Seeing this is a hospital and we're all dressed like doctors and there are easier ways to kill somebody. Bev, help them. I'm gonna need iodine, scalpel numbers 10 and 15, forceps, and a larger salad bowl. Uh. Okay, hold her down. <laughs> Come on, we need she's in a cast. <laughs> Swap. 15. You're not going to anesthetize her? Relax. It's just a magic trick. <laughs> She's faking it. We're not falling for it this time. Okay, keep that retracted. Forceps. Lake fishing can be fun. It can bring the generations together. If you don't cook that trout or perch well, you will be giving room and board to this fella. By free board, I mean all B12 you could take in. I could have a taper in me? Not likely. You'd be in a lot of pain. It's gotta be 25 feet long. Damn it. World record's over 60. 